Hey there, lovely soul, and thank you for joining me. I'm Infinity, and in this video, we are going to get into the May 2021 Tarot and Oracle reading for Leo. So welcome, Leo, sun, moon, or rising. Welcome, cross watchers. And I do suggest that you watch your other videos as well as you're guided for your uh, a comprehensive look at the messages coming through for you. And before we get into it, uh, I'm Infinity, Psychic, Physical, Empath, Medical Medium, Shaman, Mystic, uh, Channeler, Astral Meditation Guide, Distance Healer, uh, obviously Tarot and Oracle Reader. I work with people and their animals all over the world. I love what I do. Currently, I have a special for mediumship, uh, big time special for mediumship. My mediumship services are some of the favorite things I love to do, and it is on sale for Mother's Day. So don't hesitate to go and check that out. Information is in the description and you can book your uh, session directly from my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. And I encourage you to check it out. Subscribe to my website so you don't miss anything that I'm doing. I have a podcast, my YouTube channel. I'm also on Instagram. I keep myself very, very busy. I'm also an artist and I'll be sharing and offering more services with that soon. I'm also going to be doing um, going live again and doing live um, events or like going live for tarot and oracle readings and um, astral guided meditations. So you don't want to miss that. Okay, let's get into it. Leo, my rising sign. So welcome, welcome everybody. Let's see what we get here. We're starting with Lightseer's Tarot and really having to shuffle these and clear these a lot um it's interesting sometimes it's like that <sighs> so let's see here oh feeling this feeling these cards here and i keep them Go. Let's go. Let's see. What do we have here? King of Pentacles, our first card, Leo. Great card. King of Pentacles. Judgment. Seven of Swords. Page of Cups. My pendulum in the way. King of Cups. Wow. Leo. Two kings. And one more. The Lovers. Okay. So let's see what we see here. What we get here. Nothing came out in reverse. So no need to check on placement with that. Okay. We are looking to get in a stable position. Looks like you are getting into a more of a stable position as far as home, work, money. You're heading in that direction. May is bringing you definitely more of that, more balance. You're going to be busy. You're going to be bringing in the energies of your guides to help you sort stuff out. Um... The more that you work on grounding and stabilizing your energy with Gaia, the more you work on connecting with your guides, with your guardian angels, your spirit tribe, archangels, dragons, fey, galactics, whatever flavor works for you, all of them are available to every single one of us, but um, we tend to kind of gravitate to a certain uh, type of, of help with our guides and guardians or certain, um, like I said, flavor. Some of us gravitate more towards angelics or more towards dragons or more towards fey or more towards galactics. It really, really depends on you know on you but no matter what 
you are going to be tapping in with soul family on a higher level in May. I feel that this past full moon that was on April 28th, and if you haven't seen your reading for that yet, please check it out. I believe the Leo one was the longest one that I did. It was pretty interesting. Um, pretty interesting reading there. So I suggest that you watch that and um, to get a little bit of deeper insight on what's going on with this, with the energy um, coming into May, because those readings are for, um, oh, I didn't set my timer, of course. I like setting a timer so I know how long we're doing this for. Okay, so you're definitely going to be, <laughs> tapping in um, with your guides. A lot of this could happen in astral in your sleep. Um, I feel like you're ju you're going to be getting just um, information. I'm really I'm feeling it's so, so interesting. I'm tapping into this card, the page of cups, and you can see he's got this like energy coming from his chest that it's showing like what is happening up here that cup and there's another person um you can see this either way coming in or, or going out but the way that i'm feeling this energy right now with this page of cups is uh that it's about um feeling from the higher level dimensions and getting that information um, down to you. This judgment card speaks to um, balancing things out. That's what judgment is. Judgment is about it's an interesting word to use because um, it doesn't really say that so much. But it's kind of like how we how we uh, perceive and how we, how we perceive is also how we connect. Those two things are very much connected. So if we perceive that there's nothing beyond this life, there's no spirit, there's no afterlife, there's no reincarnation, there's no spirit guides, ascended masters, angelics, or anything like that really affects on how connected we're going to be to the universe. And Alternatively, if you if your understanding and belief is that all that is real, because then it opens up the door for more to come in, and then you can connect more. So your perception um, alters your reality, of course, and what comes through to you. So, and that helps to balance you out. Your perception in reality, one way or another, definitely helps to balance you out. And so. We're looking at getting more stable, more balanced, but we're also, um, yeah, there's a lot of information coming in. I'm feeling a lot of energy here. Um, this wolf and this crow or this raven, I can never tell what they're supposed to be, but, and that moon energy, big time here, lighting you up with, um, with light codes. Also, if you haven't done my meditation for uh, for the full moon, please do that. It was amazing. I channel all my meditations, so I don't think them up. I just show up and facilitate and bring it in. And it was really awesome, really healing. Um, and I'm feeling like that is more of what you know needs to happen. It goes along with the theme of the information that we got for the full moon through the new moon on the 11th of May. And really needing to um, do some deep self-healing through meditation and possibly even work with somebody <laughs> like myself, a shaman, um, an energy healer, somebody that can really work with your physical, energetic, and spiritual body along with those deeper connections to give you more information to go forward. Because it really feels like that is what's needed. Um, and your soul, family connections, um, I'm feeling like this is going to get closer and closer for you. Um, we're just looking to get more. We're looking at more stable, more grounded, more settled. Um, I'm even feeling like kind of unpacking, like 
okay, now I can settle in. I can unpack. I can get kind of situated in my world a little bit. You've dealt with some things from the past, kind of settled some things it looks like. Um, so yeah, we're getting into this stage of balancing, of healing, of um, greater understanding and greater connection is definitely what I'm feeling here. And so with these readings, what we're doing is getting um, our six cards, getting my initial, um, whoa, okay, let's go with that, I guess. Are we going with this? Yes, I'm hearing. Okay, that was fast. So we're going with that card. So th these are the archetype, the Wild Unknown archetype cards from Kim Kranz. They're really, really cool. And um, they really give you great insight on what's going on, what's coming up, what, she, what you can should focus on um, and all that. And it's separated. It's separated by the selves, the places, the tools, and the initiations or the themes. So we got our um, we got our self. We got our. I'll tell you what they are in a second. We got our uh, places. So this is interesting. So far, we have for the self. We have the judge. For the, um, I'm having a hard time. For the places, we have the dead end. So this is the self with the judge. There you go. The judge, the dead end. Oh my goodness, cards. <laughs> Stay. The dead end. Then for the tools, we have the mask. And lastly, we're going to get the initiations or and slash the theme, theme of what we should be looking at and what we're dealing with and going through. And then I'll crack open the book and we'll read directly from the book. Is this one card? Yes. And we got Apocalypse. Wow. So the judge, the dead end, the mask and Apocalypse. Let's not waste any time. Get right into this, Leo, for our messages. Eighty nine, right? Yeah, eighty nine. Okay, the judge, the critic, the diplomat, the advocate. The judge has an incredibly important job. They work every, they work every waking hour of every day helping us discern what is safe, true, and just. When this archetype remains unconscious or is captivated by fear, wise discernment turns into painful judgment of self and others. Ironically, the judge's energy can be the seed of racism, bigotry, and fear-mongering. This is the judge out of balance, building walls, separating from other. When this same discerning force is made conscious and healed, however, the judge may be found advocating for civil rights causes, standing up for the underdog, providing resources for those in needs, and forgiving again and again. Love is, sorry, love is the deciding factor. Awakening this archetype is essential for the complex times we are in. Get your judge in order. The world needs it. And when light, discernment, advocacy, right action, compassion. When dark, critical, punishing, unforgiving, and wall building. Okay, so I feel like you're kind of in between this. Like it's that internal struggle to um keep yourself safe but also allow for experiences and people and and that non-judgmental forgiving loving because that's truly what it is oh. sorry i tend to yawn when i do this kind of work um 
So, and it's interesting because this this really does fit in with that with that full moon reading. Interestingly enough, so again, I suggest that you take a look at that. Let's move on to the dead end. Why can't I find it? Oh, there it is. 143. <laughs> I'm like, really don't see it here. Just how it works sometimes. Okay, the dead end. The closed door, the final chapter, the impasse. Contrary to what is its name implies, the dead end is very much alive. It is a force that stops us from moving forward as planned. It is thick, dense, uncompromising, a wall beyond all walls. With every bramble, thorn, and stone, it simply states, no more, <laughs> no more child, you have reached the last page of this chapter. It is natural to resist its very resistance and struggle even harder to make our way to prove our point to hold on to what was in this way we fight with life itself from a mythic perspective the end you face is very much a beginning there are doors opening all around you just not the one you planned on walking through if you are honest and courageous enough to accept adjust and adapt the dead end becomes known as life's beginning when light, acceptance, humility, relief, reverence for change, and when dark, inertia, stuckness, tension, unconscious gripping. Yeah, wow, this really, I keep talking about that, that other reading, Leo, the full moon one, because it's like this is definitely an extension of that. Um, in that reading, we talked a lot about how um, you're not wanting to let go. You keep like, going back or obsessing about a certain person or situation or a certain a certain experience or whatever you decided and things had to be so i really suggest that you do that because this is speaking to that um but i'm feeling here that for some of you it's like yep that ended and i it's so done and i'm so over it and like i said from the beginning this is about getting stable and getting in balance and moving forward in a new direction, getting insight and information from your guides where in the past, I feel like you were very picky and choosy about what you were paying attention to, what you were like, nope, denying and what you were like, yep, I like that. And just kind of like really not wanting to see um, what was going on. So there's both of those things going on, um, depending on your own situation, Leo. But this is definitely this the um, the indication of an, an ending and a beginning, which is always really, really exciting. And this beginning leads us to greater, stronger relationships um, in the physical and in the spirit world. I'm 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 picking up on this on both accounts and it feels like and they're going yeah because if you're got a better relationship with us in the spiritual sense in your own soul with your guides and guardians you're going to be guided to your soul family in the physical it's just the way that it is because you're you're going to be taking the steps needed to get yourself prepared and ready for the arrival of those people in your life and as you raise your vibration and move forward in, um, as you are destined to do, that will resonate out and be a beacon to your soul family to do those same things. And you guys can all rise and meet together. It's pretty awesome. Okay, the mask. The mask. Somebody else got the mask. Who was that? I'm trying to, I'm having a hard time remember, remembering. Um... 187. I know my numbers. <laughs> there we go. The mask. So here's the mask. One more time for you, Leo. And we have the persona, the performance, the reveal. 
We often think of a mask as something that conceals our identity, yet contemplate the possibility that the mask permits our true identity to be revealed. It allows, the mask gives voice to that which was previously rejected. When this card appears, enact the side of you that is seeking expression, yet has never had a role to play on the stage of your life. You are the you are in the realm of theater so anything is possible speak with the other's voice embody the other's limbs you are taking part in the ritual of expanding the self there may be mischief and deception around and others may be trying on new masks too no one is sure who is who it l it's likely you've become so attached to a single mask that you need to fall face forward into this perception bending time trust it when light reve reveals what has been suppressed and when dark further conceals what is rejected. Yeah, it's interesting with the mask. Um, and the mask can really help us to... Can I like help us to keep things out of our perception because we're in a certain way of functioning so once we decide we're going to move away from the who we have always been and expand and evolve and open up to the possibilities of our evolution then we start to see and re it reveals things also around us and for ourselves and inside of ourselves of what we've kept suppressed, what we've denied ourselves um, for whatever reason. Typically, it's fear. <laughs> Typically, it's fear of something or some things that tend to do that, that tend to keep us locked up. Okay, next, the apocalypse. Let's get into that okay removing the veil of deception wow this is quite the theme going on here <laughs> apocalypse indicates a particularly painful time one that unfolds when two disparate dynamics occur simultaneously pulling the psyche in seemingly opposing directions the first is a lifting of the veil this means truths that have been kept in the dark are revealed seen and unearthed no matter how relieving it is to witness them come to into the light an element of despair and grief follows the second dynamic is the regeneration that comes from the wreckage of the revealed truth the regeneration that comes from the wreckage of the revealed truth the old narrative breaks and the new story forms apocalypse energy is similar to a forest fires devastation for the sake of regeneration the veil lifts and we see who and what has been hiding from the nakedness of the truth is a child born. Have faith in the process. Hold on to your center. That is the only way. And when light, the unknown comes known and guides the way. And when dark, um, annihilism, fatalism, hopelessness. Whoo, heavy. <laughs> so, yeah. Things definitely changing. Things definitely needing to come to light. Your acceptance of what it is that you decided was the story changes to what is the story <laughs> what it and your place in it and and your idea of it's like waking up in the middle of a place you've never been before and getting your bearings all situated like I said from the get-go with this king of pentacles energy showing me that this is about getting into a new frame of reference stabilizing in a new space getting into balance in a, in a new way and again the full moon uh reading speaks to letting go seeing things differently all that kind of stuff um so the theme here so on point so 
like with obviously it's just how how these work it's why i love this so much the judge the dead end the mask and apocalypse coming in to really paint a picture for you leo and i really hope that you're open to it and it doesn't this doesn't um you know give you any sense of of you know that fatalism like oh uh, you know i this is meant to empower you you know the dead end and apocalypse coming through together the mask the judge they're all um they're all they're showing me a tunnel so there is a bit of a dark period here there is a bit of that despair of that coming out of the darkness like i never thought i was going to be here i didn't think this was going to happen but as you go through the tunnel things it goes from really dark to just gradual more and more and more light coming in it's up to you how you want to to deal with this you can stop yourself in the tunnel at any point and just be there but you're meant to come out of the tunnel to feel the sun on your face to smell the air nice and fresh to drink from the river to have a whole new perspective for yourself and for the world for how you feel inside and what you see outside of yourself lovely lovely leo okay let's move on to uh to the oracle that we're gonna do we're doing an oracle card and i'm getting hidden worlds energy here really feeling that yeah we're gonna go to hidden worlds it's one of three possibilities that we're using for these readings for may so we're gonna get into it here with the hidden worlds oracle um and lastly what i'm being told to tell you is to really truly deeply consider um getting into a into something serious with healing your emotional body your energetic body your spiritual body i offer a few different options from really intense to um not so intense the evolve now program the re renew and renew deluxe whatever you can do whatever you're guided to do if you are guided to work with me um please check out my website because there's definitely like <laughs> they're showing me like you can throw a, a a rope into the tunnel and help pull pull you out pull help pull yourself out throw he like, like not me i'm not throwing you a a line it's yourself throwing you a line saying you know what i'm going to do this because it's and even if it's not with me if, if it's for somebody else if you get on your own thing whatever it is but this is the time may 2021 leo is the time to say i'm going to do things differently i'm going to start a regimen maybe it's just meditating every single day start with that um do some guided astral meditations that i have on my channel try that they're awesome self-healing meditations i highly recommend um so anyway so that's they're just saying you know if you do that um follow your guidance for healing for energy healing for um clearing for connecting with your guides you're gonna see sooner than later as i see two three four two two three three yeah you're gonna see sooner than later your progression happening so much like boom 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 you know it's up to you how how fast you move on uh, through your tunnel okay there's our card Sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> the seer, future prospects, decisions to make, seeking guidance. Okay, here we go. Card number 40, what? 41? Did I show it to you? <laughs> Maybe I didn't show it to you. I'm sorry if I didn't. Sometimes I move quickly. The seer. So here we go almost there alrighty future prospects decisions to make seeking guidance card number 41 the seer once when we sought to understand what would come to us next in our lives we turned to the seers and the wise ones who knew the uses of the sacred tools to gaze into their depths and and they saw patterns emerge that would apply to our lives 
Now we are most often our own seer or we entrust ourselves to the reader or the friend or the counselor who understands our psyches. But with this card, you're asked to trust that there is a cosmic seer, a seer of the hidden worlds who is gazing into her crystal orb for you. Trust that she sees what will come and what will and what will whisper to you through dreams and signs the unfolding of the future to come she will murmur to you in moments of peace strange words so you can create what must be done in the present so the future can be what it is for you some of what is to come is us to us is written it is a part of the structure of our soul that certain events or people and possibilities will link with us and intervene with our days but there are, are other events that we create and we choose and this is where she can help you she asks you now to look deeply to make choices that are in your, your own best interest to unravel some of the distance between yourself and spirit that has developed Take up the precious tools once again. Make a moment to see clearly and know that the ancient one, the seer, is with you to help guide you into a future that is bright and prosperous, rich and rich with meanings. Give thanks for what is yet to come and the mystery shows herself. Be ready. Aw. Illumination. I see my future clearly and create it consciously with every choice I make in the present. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a little emotional there. So yeah, <laughs> exactly what I said here. You really need to take time to connect with spirit, connect with yourself. Keep seeing this card here, your king of cups coming through to tell you this is what is needed. This is what you need to do at this time. You need to connect with spirit. Don't get lost in the, you know, sensuality or sexuality of this. This is about deep connections from from spirit to soul from soul to spirit regardless if you're in a body or not and you have at this time um, and always um, the ability to connect with these beings that will help guide you and that's what is needed right now it's like surrender to the guidance so take yourself to the place where you can surrender and tap in with those that will help guide you it's sometimes it's subtle sometimes it's really strong but one way or another you will get your guidance and seek out people that can help you like i said uh this is what i'm made to do and if you're so guided please seek me out i would love to help you again i offer a lot of healing services mediumship channeling energy healing if it was my wish for you beautiful soul i would say check out the evolve now program it checks all of the boxes but if you can't or aren't ready or aren't in the place for to do that then check out the other options and start with yourself start with the free meditations that i have on my channel um for body healing connecting with your soul um with your sorry your um Thank you, Guardian Angel, for uh, healing the abundance and money wound, for connecting back with your inner child. We all need to do that. Take responsibility for, for nurturing your inner child from this point forward. There's so many connections you can make in the meditations that are totally for free on my channel and on my podcast, and you can start there. But one way or another, please make it a point to do this. We have Apocalypse we have the dead end we have the seer saying look it's time to just go in a different direction and stop digging your heels in like it's like things are are like things that are set up for you in the future are nothing that you can possibly imagine or dream of and allow for the the magic to come into your life but you've got to set it up so it can happen lovely leo all right love thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it i hope that these mess messages resonate with you please let me know down in the comments check out my links don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time infinite love and blessings bye for now